Tobacco control advocates are calling for a ban on smoking scenes in Nollywood movies and musical videos, saying this has led to the upsurge in tobacco and substance intake by youths. The tobacco advocates who made the call while briefing newsmen in Abuja, Nigeria's capital, lamented that the tobacco industry has exploited the weak enforcement of tobacco control regulations, which prohibits tobacco advertising to glamorize smoking on set. Addiction, placement, promotion, sponsorship or advertisement of tobacco products and tobacco use in movies, in literary works, and in journalistic expressions, journalistic products are banned, except where they are required for journalistic accuracy. That is where you're talking about the life of somebody who smoked during his lifetime, and you're doing a documentary on that person. Then it will be an incomplete story to exempt um, that part. So it is required for journalistic accuracy, if it is required for um, literary expression, if it is required uh, for um, historical precision. Those are the exceptions to it. Any other depiction or promotion of tobacco products in artistic works or, lit or literary work or um, movies are uh, against the law. Over the years, movie producers in Nigeria have created scenes in which leading celebrities share and flaunt smoking in movies and musical videos. This, tobacco control advocates say, has exposed millions of adolescents to smoking imagery, luring them to tobacco intake. The smoke-free Nollywood campaign launched in Nigeria in November 2020 seeks to address the challenge. We did studies of some of their most recent movies and we observed preponderance of smoking scenes, product placement, brand stretching, etc. some of those movies. And um, unfortunately, we also observed you know, very high smoking rates in the northern parts of the country. And we're using that opportunity to, talk, to, to, to call on all the relevant stakeholders, um, the government agencies, um, people in the entertainment industry, movie producers, the actors, um, to begin to look at how they can use art to promote life and not death. As a follow-up, the campaigners are engaging with key players in Kennywood in the north to drive home the message. The best form of enforcement that I prescribe always is for the citizens to take up this challenge and begin to, you know, um, avoid violations in their own work of in, in their own um, works and in their life. While some Nigerians support the campaign in line with the Tobacco Control Act, others think parents have a role to play in controlling what their children watch. It has a great deal of impact on Nigerian youth. Like me, I wouldn't like to even like drink something hard drink or alcohol in the presence of my kids because I know definitely they will feel maybe this is what makes used to make daddy strong. So if you see the video or toothpaste smoking on air, you would like to try to, you know, maybe that's what gives him the talent that he's into sing his music. I think we should not deceive ourselves creating laws that we know we cannot actually, uh, uh, you know, enforce. It's, it's not possible. It's up to the parents to control what their children watch. You understand? Now, if you are watching a kind of a particular movie and then you know that certain, you know, video clips and shows will affect the psyche of children, you push them away, keep them off. The World Health Organization's records show that about 8 million people die annually from tobacco use globally. To protect young people from tobacco-related deaths, advocates are asking concerned authorities to rise up to the challenge and enforce the tobacco control regulations.